so much for you guys hello guys come back to me again uh thank you so much for actually uh, first of all i have to say thank you for those of you who've been liking my last video i think it was pre-production and i want to say thank you so much for those of you who's been liking and who's been joining my live live stream in youtube really much appreciated you know um it, it really means a lot to me so uh today i'm going to do something again because i'm it's going to be my uh, this is live session and um uh, yeah so today is going to be really awesome so uh, for those of you who are you know um, um if you are new to the channel please remember you subscribe and then before you leave the channel make sure you give me a like or if you don't like, if it doesn't relate to you, then you can just give me a dislike. So today I have a fantastic topic to talk to you. And I think it's really, really good. I think the topic is, it goes, um, the, to the topic hit, hits home for me, I think. It really hits home for me because uh, the topic today is just, it's just a topic that I, I do know that everyone's been through and I've been through also at the same time. That's why I bring it now here. So before I play my intro and I just want to say hello to Sharon is inside the room. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Uh, stay safe. Stay healthy. Always stay at home. Staying at home, Sharon. Thank you. I think uh, Vivian is inside the room. Hello. And Ryu is inside the room. Hi, Ryu. Uh, hi, coach. Uh, Pro Channel is inside the room also. Hi, coach. I'm back. Yes, you are back. Ayo. Um, eh, hello. Katanya. <laughs> Ayo, Mission Candles is in the room. Hello. And Sharon also, I want to meet you. Could you want to meet me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. You have time to meet me later, yeah? Um, don't worry. Uh, we'll meet very, very soon. And Vivian Pang says, nice. All right, so good. Um, before I start today, I just give you a little heads up what topic I'm going to be talking today. I think it's, I, I, as I told you, it really hits home. So I'm talking about this topic called when you think you're not good enough. I think everyone thinks about this. And um, I think the first time here also, I really thought myself that I'm not good enough. You know, uh, I, I, I think this topic happens because, um, you know, sometimes you do a lot of self-talk. And then when you do a lot of self-talk and it's uncontrollable, kalau nggak bisa dikontrol, you start to say things that's not important to you and then it starts to become negative. So I think um, a lot of people has been through it also. All my friends is inside the room. Yakin that you, you, you've ever once said to yourself that I don't think so I'm good enough. Number two is I don't think so I can do this. Number three is I'm not the right person to do this. Number four is there's someone else better than me out there. So there's a lot of people that went through this. So today I'll be talking about that and I think it's called self-doubt. So um, so today it's going to be how to beat self-doubt. You know, you have you have yourself self-doubt with you and how to how to beat it. So uh, Faris is inside the room. So uh, <laughs> Faris says, "Jangan lupa like videonya." Thank you, bro. Uh, a shout out to Faris. Uh, he's in the Philippines. He's the pilot that I interviewed in my other session. This is live. Yeah, uh, Kaisar is also inside the room, and then Stephen, uh, Stevo. Uh, hi, Stevo. Hope you're doing very well. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, before we start, the topic today is about when you think that you're not good enough. So let's play the intro. All right, for those of you who's inside my room already, yes, I just want to let you know if you have any questions to me and uh, do write down in the chat box. Uh, and if it relates to you, you can also tell stories. If you want to say hi to each other, that's fine for me also. I will read whatever you write at the end of my uh, live stream today. So thank you, four of you are inside the room. I appreciate it so much. All right, so let's just start today. This thing called when you think you're not good enough. I think everyone says this and I think it has something to do. It's a very tricky thing because I, I talked to you last time about yang namanya mindset and I talked to you about this thing about self-talk and I, I, I think it's a, a combination of those two. And a lot of people really, really say this. Like, like number one is, when you're about to do something, you have that self-doubt into you. It's like, okay, you, you tell yourself, okay, am, am I doing the right thing? Or should I do this? Or I don't think so, I'm the right person to do this. Or maybe you might say, I'm not capable of doing this. Well, I remember last time when, when the first time I said this, I still remember like it was yesterday. And um, I think um, everything that I... I every, 
every of my preview, like the first of my preview, I did it. I still remember where it was. It was the scariest thing in my life. And they gave me a preview. They, they gave me a seminar to talk to. And about 82, is it 82 or 62 people came in and I had to be at the front and I had to talk for my first time for my seminar. And it was amazingly nervous for me. And, and when I said at the back, right, I, because in a seminar, normally I get to sit down and get to see who's coming to my seminar, right? And you can see parents. I don't talk to kids, but I talk to parents and I'm waiting at the back. Then I'm thinking to myself, man, what am I doing here? You know, should I do this or not? And how about if they look at me and it feels a bit weird and what should I do? And I, I start to talk to myself and then I think that's what you call self-talk. Uh, you got to get that straight for it. That's, that, that's what you call self-talk. And a lot of people self-talk. A lot of us really talk to ourselves. That's number one. That consists of this thing called self-doubt, okay? When you think that you're not good enough, you talk to yourself. And when you talk to yourself, it becomes uncontrollable. You cannot control it. And then you just say things out of random to make you feel, I think, to make you feel very comfortable. That's number one. Number two is, I think, it has something to do with about a mindset. And the mindset is so important to you. And, um, I mean... At the end of the day, you ask yourself if you want to do like if you want to do something, right? And you're afraid to do it. Ask yourself why you started in the first place. That's why it really helps me, you know. Uh, it really helps me to ask myself why did I start it in the first place? Because if I think I can't do it, I I, I won't be able to be I, I won't be able like I wouldn't be there to start off with. If you know what I mean. Jadi kalau lo nggak misalnya lo nggak yakin lo bisa, kenapa you you started in the first place? So I think it's more about mindset. So these two things, it's connected. To what the things you say to yourself, the self-talk, and then uh, you know the, the the words that you say, and then number two is the mindset that you have. So it's really really important for you to know this, and it, this too makes a whole lot different of what you think and what you, and uh, of your self-doubt, right? So um, today I think rather than me telling you what you know what makes things into self-doubt, I think today I'm going to let you know four things that's so easy how to conquer this. All right, four things that makes it so easy for you not to say, "Am I good enough?" or if you have a self doubt. All right, but before I let you know the four things that I normally do, this is my opinion. I normally do. I'm just gonna give a shout out and um, just gonna read everyone inside the room here. There's Afinda. There it says, uh, <laughs> "What is? There's no my face inside the intro video. Uh, soon you will be. Will, I will put you your face inside the intro video. I will put all of your face inside the intro video. Yeah, Gran is here. How long will this stream last? I think the stream will last another thir- three minutes or maybe five minutes time. That's what normally I say, and then it lasts for twenty minutes. Okay, uh, Kaisar says, "Could you say how many subs you have?" And cause can't really see. <laughs> I let you know at the end of my live stream how many subs do I have. Right? Is it in Surabaya? Yeah, the first time, I think the first time it was in, no, no, it was in Jakarta, yeah? Uh, Yose is here, so yep, I can't see to, to the subs. Yeah, I'll let you know my subs at the end of the video, yeah? Coach, can you share a few tips to change mindset? Sure. At the end of this, I'll let you know, uh, share a few tips how to change mindset, yeah? For Ryu inside there. So stick around. I will let you know how to actually evolve your mindset and have a very fantastic mindset for you to do anything in life, yeah? Jag is here. Valerie, now I know it's you, Valerie, all right? David is also here and Vivian is also here. So let's start. So the four things you can actually do to make you stop saying, I'm not good enough and for you to have self-doubt. Number one is you need to exercise, all right? This is what I do. So when I think, before I start to do things, before I do my seminar and before I do things, I start to exercise first in the morning because currently I realize something by exercising, um, there's something that releases in your brain. It's called dopamine. And then when it releases in your brain, you feel good. And then when you feel good, you start to forget that you're not good enough because you start to forget you start to when you know when when dopamine comes in you start to you you start to say to yourself that you know this feels good and the exercise gets my mind off my stress and the exercise gets my mind off my problem and my challenges and the self-doubt that i have so I realized that, you, you know, I'm doing exercise now, right? Every single day I'm walking for 30 minutes. And I, the reason I tell you exercise is number one tip is because I know it's from my experience. When, whenever I have difficulty, when I have a problem, I have too much to think. Um, I got challenges in my life. You know, I just walk. I run and I walk every day and I take 30 minutes and then I walk around. And, you know, after I exercise, when I come back, the, the release of dopamine in my head it makes me feel good it makes me feel i'm i, I i'm i'm worth it and uh it, it also takes things off your mind like if you're busy for sure you won't be thinking of these things so 
if you exercise, trust me, and it will make you, it will put your mind somewhere else. So it, let me put it this way. If you exercise, you won't focus on the bad things. You focus on the good things because your mind is already tired and it's it's releasing, a, 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 I think it's called a you can call it chemical, I think. Your mind is releasing a chemical and you feel good that way. So exercise a lot more, all right? That's number one. Number two is, what I do is I sit down and find the learning lessons in my life. You might be asking, there are learning lesson in your life. What does that mean? Well, everyone has a learning lesson in your life. And the learning lesson is the times when you fail in your life. Uh, you might be asking me, Ricky, if I think of the things that I fail every time in my life, I mean, isn't that I'm going to be more depressed? Not really, actually, because all those learning, all those failure in your life has a learning lesson, you see. And most likely, if you sit down and ask yourself, what have I failed in the past? Find that learning lesson, and most probably you're doing it already. So in that, you get me right, uh, get ready for this. In that, when you know that, hey, actually, I'm actually improving because I failed last time doing this and now I can do it. That means I'm improving something. So that way, when you have that feeling of achieving something, uh, you will forget about yourself down. And when you forget about yourself down, you know you're not, uh, you're never going to say you're not good enough. You're going to say, I did it back then. I'm going to do it again this time around. So learn from your past mistakes. Sit down and see what failure that you have in your life and ask yourself, what can I learn from this failure? Because one, if you know that you can learn from the failure, you can actually improve. That's what other people are doing currently. You know, you have to know something. And if you're right now watching me, you're telling me, oh, my failure is the worst failure. I won't be able to remember it. That's when I think you're doing the wrong thing, I have to say. Because no matter how deep your failure is, no matter how bad you failed in life, you can always go back and see what is your learning lesson. And when you know you achieve that learning lesson, you know that you learn from it, you're achieving something. And when you achieve something, you are good enough for whatever you want to do. And the third one is controlling your environment. So let me get, let me, controlling environment is also important. Why? Because the things around you, your social media, the, the TV that you watch, the news that you see, the, the chat box that you, that, that your friends chat to you and then mint the, it's all of these things around you that you need to filter. I think, I think that's the word. You need to filter your environment because that way, the more you hear things, the more you see things, the more negative things that you see on social media or uh, the bad things you see in your life, that makes it very worse. So control the environment that you have. Their surrounding really matters. I mean, I, 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 you do it this way because the, uh, I think the example is this. If you see the news and the news tells you all the bad things, you will become depressed along the way. You ever know that? You ever notice that? Like you watch news where, where, Everyone, you know, does crimes and you watch news where cars are stolen. You watch news where people get hit by the pandemic. You watch news where people show the hospital and, you know, people are having difficulty with. If you watch it all the time, it, it, it will go to you and it will go it, it will go to your mind and it, it will go to your self-talk. And then you start to say, you know, when you feel depressed, you're, when your state feels depressed... And I think the whole body and the whole mind also feel depressed. And there you go. That's the word that I'm looking for. Your state matters. So you ever wonder if you ever sit in YouTube, right? You watch motivational videos. And then after the videos, you start to go like this. That's it, man. I'm going to do something in my life. You know, when, when you do something in your life, right? When you, when you watch your motivational video in YouTube and you say, you know, I'm going to do something. It actually transfer, right? So what I want to say to you is whatever you see and whatever you hear, it really matters to you. So control your environment. Control the things that you do. Control the things that you watch and read. And, and, and that's why I think I spend at least 30 minutes each day for me to go online on YouTube and see the motivational video. And then I just watch it because they got texts that they can inspire you. They got texts that can motivate you, you know, and all, right? So the last one is this thing called dump it all. What does dump it all mean? You have to have... A time in your week weekdays or in weekend to spend 30 minutes to have a piece of paper and then you just write all of the things that you are worried about. 
write down all of the things that you worry about i i mean i made this system up actually this system this system is called dump it all you gotta dump it all i do this regularly regularly every single day in my life you gotta know that okay guys because why because when you dump it all and then when you write everything and you and you fold the paper and then you throw it away there's just a sense of I don't know how to say this, but there's a sense of satisfaction in that. There's a sense of easiness in that. So when you dump it on on a piece of paper, it's the same thing as this. Kayak, kalian pernah curhat kan dalam hidupnya? Maksudnya kalian punya ketemu teman, terus kalian harus mau curhat seperti kayak gitu. Dan kalian pengen banget curhat kalau ketemu teman, right? Uh, you, you do right. Kalau kalau misalnya lo curhat sama teman lo, kalau misalnya it's very sad, you tend to have tears. And then when it's very happy, you tend to be very joy. You know, hey, you know what happened yesterday? You know, all those kind of thing. It's the same thing. Like you have an emotion, you have a feeling, you have something that you worry about, you have something that you don't like about, you have something you jenkel about, you have something you subble about, you dump it on a piece of paper, you just write it down, all of your worries. And then after that, you fold it, and then you throw it away. I, I don't know if it works with you guys, but I've been doing this every day in my life for 30 minutes, every day, just dump it all out. I call it a dump system. When you dump it, that's it, gone. Like you and me, and now like gone that's when you dump it so there you go guys the four tips that i just shared with you number one is exercise number two is find the learning lesson number one okay let me repeat that one more time for all of you inside the room number one is you gotta exercise the dopamine inside your mind will get you feel better it makes you say that i'm good enough you know i don't need all this self-doubt and everything else that i can do it number one exercise number two Find the learning lesson in your life. Learning lesson, the failure in your life. Once you find the failure and look for the learning lesson. Because once you see the learning lesson and you do something about that learning, that means you achieve something. That means you feel good. All right? The third one is control your environment. Make sure you control your environment. That means this, the things that you see, the things that you talk about with your friends, the thing that you hear, the thing that you watch on TV, the movies that you watch on TV. Control your environment. Because the more... The more what is it can i say the more sad things that you see online or on tv the more your state will become that so if you want to be motivated watch motivation if you want to be inspired watch stories real life stories online that you can be inspired with and i think last one you gotta dump it all out you know when you feel worried you can't just keep it in you you gotta write it down dump it all out on a piece of paper and just let it go that's the right word. You let it go. I think um, I'm going to read whatever everyone have written inside the room. All right. So let me read this out for all of you inside the room. Um, all right. Uh, Ryu says, Coach, can you share the mindset? Ryu, I will, I will answer your question very, very soon. Yeah, about mindset. Valerie says, are you still going to teach me? Uh, yeah, of course, I am still always going to. Uh, if you're going to be there, I'll be there also. All right. Um, uh, uh, let's see what my friend says in robot. Everyone, please subscribe. <laughs> All right, the Yosei Roblox official. Go, guys. Guys, if you want to subscribe to... Uh, if you want to subscribe to my good friend... I think that's Jaden, right? My good friend, Jaden. And then uh, subscribe to me also. He has a channel. He has a, you know, streaming channel. Reinhardt inside the room. Hi, Sharon. Um, uh, uh, Reinhardt says, hello. Julianus says, remember me. Hi, Julianus. Hi, how are you? Sharon says, why there's no face in my video intro? <laughs> okay, I put face in your in my video intro for you, okay? Soon. Uh, it's very hard for me to edit and everything else, but I hope... Um, I, I, I wish that I can put... I, you know, I'm thinking like this, Sharon. I, I want to get one day, right, where I can get every every one of my subscriber to be in one room and i'll just shoot them for my intro how's that yeah and um sharon says controlling the environment thank you thank you sharon for writing it running it down for the rest of my friends yeah ryu says i'm sad that no camp this year yes ryu there's no camp this year because of COVID 19 but it's okay um we st um i still have other camps uh in ekeltg that's online but the camps is not this year uh hopefully we are hoping the december camp is going to come in right we're hoping Pray for the for the best, yeah. I wish there's a camp in December. Yeah, Sharon says that's what I said. I'm praying for there's a camp in December. You says me too. All right, Fian says got to go. So sorry, Fin, Vivian. Thank you so much for being here, Pang. I really appreciate. It. Logan uh, is here. Hello, Coach. Hello, Pratama is here. Uh, Pratama says I need to watch the replay because I'm late. No worries. I think Sharon has written down some some tips that I wrote down. Stevo says I think a little dose of self doubt is still good. It actually keeps you grounded and stay healthy. Yes, what I normally is yeah, make motivation to prove yourself that you are more than your dad so right steve -O, you're still right a uh, little dose is okay 
Uh, too much is like eating actually if you eat too uh, if you eat things too much is not good for you and a lot of people say you know kalau makan bayam it's good for you tapi if you makan terlalu banyak enggak baik jadi it's the same thing as self doubt i mean self doubt little is good but too much is not good but still sometimes people cannot control it you have you have to understand that and i understand also that people sometimes cannot control how much self doubt that they have they just go out of control yeah sharing inside the room. sharing thank you so much again for writing it down for everyone else in the room davian says Let it go, frozen. Yes, you're right. And then um, Sharon says, "I'm gonna do it." Thank you for the four tips. No worries, Sharon. Thank you for being online. Aplikasi online says Julian is my friend. All right, you guys can say hi to each other. Then we'll say hi, coach. Sounds great. I'm Andrew from Binu Serpong. Hi, Andrew. Hi, how are you, Andrew? Thank you so much for being inside the room. Appreciate it to you. Yeah. Davian says subscriber count will be set at the end. Yes, I will say my subscriber count at the end. Julian says Albert, I find coach. All right, good. So um, for uh, who was it? Ryu just now, right? Was asking me how to change your mindset. So. So very quickly for you, Ryu, a mindset is always based on two things, attitude and behavior. So you have to ask yourself, uh, Ryu, um, because the mindset is made by attitude and behavior. So number one is, Ryu, if you want to have, if you want to keep yourself motivated as a mindset, you need to ask yourself, what, what are you thinking or what attitude do you have? Because that's most important. Attitude is the first thing. You know, what, what kind of attitude you have determines what kind of mindset you get at the end because mindset is up here right and attitude is the whole thing that you have so number one is attitude so you make sure you have a positive attitude that really works to have a positive mindset how do you get a positive mindset the second one is behavior so you might be saying ricky but behavior and attitude is the almost the same thing it's actually different uh, if i let you know the difference is um i'll let you know the difference see uh let me just use Uh, let me use my bottle for you, okay? With uh, I cannot put brand, so I, let me put my bottle with you. So, um, attitude and behavior is is this this is how you actually put it, okay? If you see an iceberg, right, floating in the water, the attitude is the one you can see, which is at the top, and behavior is the one. Eh, sorry, behavior is the one that you can see at the top, and an attitude is the one that you cannot see at the bottom. Let me repeat that one more time for you inside the room. So mindset is based on two things, attitude and behavior. And the attitude is the one is at the bottom of the ocean. When the iceberg is floating halfway, when the iceberg is floating halfway, the ones that you cannot see is called attitude. And behavior is the one that you can see. So what does this got to do with mindset? It's very simple. People always say this, your mindset becomes positive once your attitude becomes positive. Now, it's it cannot be the other way around. You cannot say, but coach, my behavior is positive. You cannot say that because if your behavior is positive, it doesn't mean your attitude will be positive also. I think I shared this in one of the This Is Life session that I had earlier. Uh, before this before this before this uh before this topic i had a topic that i shared this to you so let me repeat that one more time this is the last time i repeat it okay so the 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 behavior if your behavior is positive it's not necessarily your attitude becomes positive but it's the other way around if your attitude is positive your behavior will automatically become positive also all right so behavior is the things that you can always always see but attitude they cannot see so Lastly, is this for you? If you do something and people see it, that's the easiest part. Let me repeat it one more time. If you do something and people are seeing it, that's the easiest part. But the hardest part in life is when someone cannot see, let's see if you're very trustworthy or not. That's my point. And that's called mindset, Ryu. If you have a positive mindset, your attitude will follow, your behavior will follow also. All right, guys, that's it. Um, and lastly, you guys ask for my subscriber count, right? So um, I think the last one is my subscriber count currently right now is going to 3.7. It's going to, it's going to 3.8 very soon, but it's going 3.7. So I want to say thank you so much to all of you. There you go, my subscriber count. There you go. And, and that, I want to say thank you so much, all of you inside the room. I really do appreciate it. Before you leave, please make sure you like everyone inside the room, everyone inside the live chat. I want to say thank you to all of you. Steve, thanks a lot, man, for your time. And I want to say thank you so much. So much to Sharon also who's been typing in me, helping me out. Julianas also. Everyone, I cannot mention everyone in the room. I really do appreciate it for your time. Even Finda also and even Valerie also. Thank you so much. And Jaden also inside the room. I cannot mention all of you. <clears throat> but you know how much I really appreciate for you guys inside the room. I said it already. It's 3.7K. I think it's 3.7 or 3.8K. All right, I think about that area, okay? So, um, Ryu, I hope it helps. Yeah, no, welcome, Ryu. Thank you so much. I'll see you very, very soon in the next live, right? Guys, before you go out, please remember to like, 
at the same time. And then uh, if you don't like, you put a dislike. It, does, it doesn't matter for me. Uh, it's fair. It's very fair. Remember to subscribe. <clears throat> I will see you in the next This Is Life. Guys, I want to say thank you so much. You guys take care, yeah? And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Much love. Take care.